Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video session, I will explain you about how to manage dashboard, WordPress dashboard, and how to create the web pages. And third one is the creation of the main menu. I want to start SAM control panel first of all. How can I start? I will go to my computer, drive E, SAM folder. In XAM folder, there is a control panel is there. XAM control panel. Click on start button to start the services of Apache web server and then MySQL. Once both services has been started, then I can work on it. I need to write here localhost. This is the default page of Apache web server. Which folder I need to open? I will go to HDDoc. This is my folder 123456. I want to open this folder. I will remove dashboard and I will write 123456. Okay, now my site is in running condition. Okay, if I want to open for edit mode, you have to click on this WordPress or e-commerce website dashboard or you can write localhost 123456 and then you will write here WP admin mode. WP means WordPress dash admin. WP admin. What you will write? You will write here localhost dash one two three four five six and dash WP admin mode. Okay, you will write WP dash admin. Now this is WordPress dashboard has been appeared in front of you. Or you can click here dashboard. Then you can also open in to the edit mode. Okay, many ways are there to open the dashboard or open in edit mode. I am closing this tab, and in this tab, just I am opening the website in running condition without edit mode. Localhost 123456. This is your dashboard. If you will click this screen options there are many check boxes are appeared that contain site health status this showing the site health status mean website status mean your website is overloaded okay the, here it will show the status of your site when you will uncheck this now you can say site health will not appear at a glance, where is at a glance? This is at a glance. In at a glance, it shows number of posts, number of pages, and number of comments. Right now, there is one post, one page, and one comment are there. If you will uncheck this, that also disappear from the dashboard. Activity, activity also disappear from the dashboard. Quick draft. Quick draft also disappear. Okay. WordPress welcome message. These are up here. If you need at a glance, activity, site health, like this, and quick draft. If you want to change this, you can just drag to anywhere. Draft you want to do this site, you can drag to here. If you will click this arrow, it will move to up. Click here, it will move to up. Okay. In this way, you can manage your dashboard of the WordPress. We have done this second how to create the web pages. These are the pages. You can click on all pages. When you will click on all pages, here you can see the pages. There are two default pages out there. One is sample page, and other one is privacy policy page first of all you should delete this 
I'm going to trash this sample page and policy page. Now I'm going to create my own page. Or you will click, you can click on add new button from this place or you can click on add new. Okay, you can click any of the button and then you can start the new page. Okay, add new. This is first time they are showing the welcome message. You can close this and here you can write your title of the page. For example, my title of the page is home page. I'm writing home only. Okay, and here I will write the contents. Here you can type the contents of the page. Right now, just I am writing a random text. Or you can write get a random text. In word you can write rent then suppose I need two paragraph in each paragraph I need five sentences I will copy paste this one this is just a random text you can paste here okay suppose this is my home page after this I can save as a draft before going to publish or I can get the check the preview. This is desktop preview. This is tab preview and this is mobile preview. Okay, this is my desktop preview. I will click on publish. Again, click on publish. Now this page has been published. Next, click on this again, this icon. View pages, home pages there. I will create in this way two, three pages. Suppose a home page, about us page, contact us page, or one page more. Add new. I'm writing about us page. About us. Copy paste, publish, click on W mode means WordPress icon. It will lead to the web pages. Click on add new product page or product category. Paste the text, publish, click on publish for publishing. Click on the WordPress icon. Okay, there are three pages. Up. If you will run your site, okay, this is my site is in running condition. When I will refresh this page, they are showing me automatically these pages. About us, this is my about us page, this is home page, and this is product page. Okay, all three pages are showing me this. Next, I want to add the main menu. For main menu, where I will go, I will go to the appearance. In appearance, see theme, theme is there, editor is there, there is no main menu, okay, main menu should be in appearance, okay, if you will click on themes, it will show the themes, okay, what you will do, you should change the theme, some themes are not supported to the main menu, okay, for example, I'm going to add the themes 2021. Okay. If you want to use this theme, just you can click on activate. Right now, my activated theme is 2023. If you want to use this theme, you should click on activate button. Okay. See, when I activated my 2021 theme you can see that in appearance page menus will appear here menu is appeared you can click on this menus and here you can create your menu write your menu name i'm writing menu name is main menu and where it will display automatically add new top level pages into this main menu you can show into the primary menu and secondary menu. click to create menu 
Now in this menu, you need to add all the pages. Product page, about us page, home page, add to menu. When you will run this, save menu, click on save menu. Once you will run this, see the menu, menu sequence, product, about us and home page. If you want to home page to this side, left side, left most should be home page. Then what you will do, you can move home page to above. Just you can keep, hold and move it up. Save menu. Now you can check home page will move to the left side. After this, you need product page that about us page. And if you want to make it sub menu, for example, in home menu, about us should be sub menu of home. Suppose what you will do, you can move it up and just you can make it indentation, make a space. Now it will become sub items. When you will click here, refresh this page, save menu, refresh this page, see home menu. And in home menu, sub menu is about us. If you want to make another sub menu of about us, what you will do? Post product will be the sub menu of about us. Suppose you can click here. If you will click in this place, then it will become the sub menu of the home page. If you will give more space, more indentation, then it will become the sub item of the about us page save menu product page refresh this page see home page about us page in about us page product is there in this way you can create your main menu as you required in your assignment or as you required in your project i am writing here all in same level home about us and product product should be up and then i will save it right now i need only this now this is end of my session okay thank you if you have any comment please write on the comment section i will give you the answer